In chapter 11, we're going to spend uh, quite a bit of time talking about sequences and series. So just starting out with a couple definitions. An infinite sequence is a function whose domain is the set of positive integers. Um, infinite means that it doesn't end. It just keeps going on and on. And the terms of an infinite sequence, uh, we start with a1. That's our first term. Our second term is a2. Our third term is a3, and so on and so forth. And then the nth term is just some term somewhere along the line. It could be the hundredth or the thousandth or whatever. So the nth term. A finite sequence has a domain that's only the first n positive integers. So a finite sequence means it's countable. It stops somewhere. So maybe it stops after four or after 10, whatever. But finite stops, infinite keeps going. Now, a lot of times we start with a1, a2, a3. Sometimes we start with a0, a1, a2, a3. Um, the homework, when you're doing the homework, it'll tell you what to start with. So which way you do it, it just kind of depends on the problem. So we're going to do a couple examples with this. Um, we want to write the first four terms of each sequence. And like I said, it tells you what to start with. This one says assume that it starts with 1. So what this means is if we want to find a1, we are going to plug in 1. So our first term is 3. We want to find the second term. We are going to plug in 2. To find the third term, plug in 3. And to find the fourth term, plug in 4. So the sequence is 3, 5, 7, 9, and it keeps going. Those uh, ellipse dot 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 just means it keeps going. All right, let's check out the next one. Uh, to find the first term, I don't know why it doesn't want to write there. Let's try again. So we have 3 plus negative 1 to the first. That'll be 2. 3 plus negative 1 squared. That's going to make that a positive 1. So 4. 3 plus negative 1 cubed. That's going to be negative 1 again. And 3 plus negative 1 to the fourth. That's going to be a positive again. So this is kind of a weird sequence. Uh, 2, 4, 2, 4. And it's going to keep going, just bouncing back and forth between 2 and 4. Um, I want to point this out, this negative 1 to the n. That is a pretty common thing you'll see in um, sequences. Anytime you have something that's bouncing back and forth, either between two numbers or between a positive or negative, probably has this in the formula as some sort of element. So we're going to see that later on. I just wanted to point it out to you. Okay, first four terms of this sequence. Um, again, we're starting with 1. So to find the first term, we're going to plug in 1. Uh, this one has ends in two different spots. So it's no big deal. So we get negative 1 over 3. To find our second term, we're going to plug in 2. So we get positive 1 over 5. To find the third term, we'll plug in 3. So negative 1 over 7. Sorry about the handwriting there. And the fourth term, we'll plug in 4. One ninth. So our sequence is negative 1 third, 1 fifth, negative 1 seventh, and 1 ninth. And again, like I said in the last problem, um, notice that we have that bouncing back and forth between a negative and a positive that's being caused by that negative 1 to the n. Okay, so when you see things um, kind of oscillating like that, uh, usually there's a negative 1 to the n in the problem. Um, we can get the TI calculators to do this um, as well. Um, a lot of us don't have TI, so I'm, we'll come back to the calculators at another point. Um, it's, it's not really a faster way. It's just another way to do it, so don't worry about that. So number three, we want to go the opposite direction. We're given the sequence, and we want to find the formula. Now, there's no magic formula for this. We just have to look at patterns and see if we can recognize what's going on. So sometimes what's helpful to do 
is to say, look, this is the first term, this is the second term, the third term, and the fourth term. Um, sorry, I just did something weird on my computer. Fourth term. Okay, um, so what we want to do is these are the things you would be plugging in. These are our n values. We want to find what would we plug in for n to get this value. So we need to plug in 1 and get 1. We need to plug in 2 and get 3. We need to plug in 3 and get 5. We need to plug in 4 and get 7. I think I see it once I start looking here, plugging in 3 and getting 5 and plugging in 4. Do you see that if we double 3 and then subtract 1, we get 5? We double 4 and subtract 1, we get this. So I think this formula is going to be 2n minus 1. All right, let's check out the next one. We're going to do the same idea. This is, let's try better than that. The first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term. So we need to be able to, you know, to plug in 2 and get 5, to plug in 3 and get 10, to plug in 4 and get negative 17. Um, the first thing that I see is, do you see how these are oscillating back and forth between positive and negatives? So somehow... Uh, my formula is going to be negative 1, except it's not negative 1 to the n, because if I plugged in the first term, um, that would give me a negative, and the second term would give me a positive. So it's going to be n minus 1. Okay, so that's going to make the first term positive and the second term negative. Okay, so now all I've managed to do is to get it to oscillate back and forth. Um, I think I see the rest of it. Um, I am noticing that 4 squared is 16, and that 3 squared is 9, and that 2 squared is 4. So all of these I'm noticing are n squared plus 1. Okay. All right, let's try the next one. Um, 1, 5, 9, 13. So I want to think about my first, second, third, and fourth term. Hmm. Let's see. Sometimes these just take a while. You just have to think about them. I am noticing that they're like, do you see that these are like all four apart? I keep adding four. So somehow there's a four in this problem. Um, four N doesn't quite make sense because four times four would be 16 and four times Three would be twelve, but I think I see it. How about four n minus three? Does that get us there? Because four times four by sixteen minus three, twelve minus three. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Okay. All right, that was a good idea. All right, let's check out this one. Um, again, we have alternating. So first, second, third, fourth. They're alternating. So this problem is definitely going to have the negative 1 to the n in it. But it's not negative 1 to the n because, uh, see, the first term is positive and the second term is negative, so it's n minus 1. That's how we get it to switch the alternating. And now, oh, these are all just doubled, right? If you double 1, you get 2. If you double this, double this, double this, yeah. So this is just uh, 2n times 2n. All right. Um, like I said, there's no magic way to get those. Uh, it's just pattern recognition and seeing what you can figure out. This comes really easy to some people, and it's very challenging for others, um, and that's okay. Uh, just practice with it. Um, see what you can do. We're going to get into more specific sequences uh, a little bit later in the chapter, and you'll have, like, formulas to use. So if this is a struggle for you, don't worry. It's not going to be a struggle forever.